Have a clap. This has been recorded in front of a live studio audience. <laughs> <laughs>、hey、guys, I'm Shay. I'm Sam. I'm Mom. And today we will be discussing Let It Snow by John Green, Maureen Johnson, and Lauren Miracle. An ill timed storm on Christmas Eve buries the residents of Gracetown under multiple feet of snow and causes quite a bit of chaos. One brave soul ventures out into the storm from her stranded train and sets off a chain of events that will change quite a few lives. Over the next three days, one girl takes a risky shortcut with an adorable stranger. Three friends set out to win a race to the Waffle House and the Hash Brown Spoils, and the fate of a teacup pig falls into the hands of a lovesick barista. So, overall,、um, what were your initial thoughts of the whole book? I'm not a fan of contemporary fiction.、Sorry. I'm not really a fan of cheesy romance. I'm a big fan of John Green, so I liked it. So, you liked a third of it? <laughs> well, no, I liked all of them because I feel like. All three authors had a really good writing style, like really similar writing style. They so, weren't broken up into pieces. Yeah, I feel, and actually, if I didn't know whose story was whose, I feel like I wouldn't have been able to tell the difference between John Green and Maureen Johnson's. Like the first two sounded really similar. So I think. Yeah, I can see that. But you guys didn't like it.、Really. <laughs> I, could, I could kind of tell, though, that the second one was written by a guy. Because it, it was not a guy? Just, no, but it just was. Not as cutesy? Yeah, exactly. The but, second one was written by the guy? Yeah, the second one was written by John Green. Really? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> yeah, but he's not as mushy, I think, as the other two. And that's, I think that's what, what I noticed. And his was the main character was a boy. The other two, the main character. I think the、girls. second story was my favorite. Yeah. I like his story a lot. And I also liked that, that it was about like, a race to get to the、yes. Waffle House. That was really fun. That was fun. Yeah. And, and it could have been boring because all they did basically was drive to the Waffle House. But he did, a, in my opinion, he did a good job at making the whole thing interesting. Yeah. Okay. So, initial thoughts you guys didn't like it very much because you don't like romance books. I'm sorry. But well, <laughs> it wasn't that I didn't like it, it was that it didn't keep my attention. Oh, okay. I could walk away from it and not pick it up for a few days. I like action and she likes fantasy and sci fi <laughs> in my、class. books. <laughs> See Queen of Shadows review. <laughs> yeah. Do you, either of you have favorite parts? I thought the teacup pig was adorable. I, I just liked the whole second book. I liked、um, them trying to get out of the area that, that, they, that they lived in, trying to get up that hill. That's very John Green, though, I think.、Oh, like、it? the dialogue and, and the fact that, he, that the girl had a nickname. The Duke. Yeah, the Duke. <laughs> and, the, and the story behind that, that's very John Green, I think. He always has like, some quirky thing, like a nickname or just, you know, just some, some, something having to do with one of the characters that's just not realistic. <laughs> And it made me want to read his books. Good, you should, because they're really good. I will. And then we should watch Paper Towns. Because I got it for Christmas and I'm so excited. Yay!、Uh. I thought it was all very predictable. I mean, the first. Well, yeah, but. Yeah, but, like, in the first book, they mention a frozen creek, like, seemingly randomly. Well, of course they're going to fall in it. Yeah, that's yeah. true. And of course they're not going to make it to the Waffle House, like, with plenty of time before the other people that are racing there. Because、yeah. that wouldn't be a good story, though. I know, it was just very predictable. Yeah, well, I think this is one of those stories that's not meant to be like twist and turn, unpredictable, you know, kind of story. I think it's just meant to be a fun. And it was so cute、Holiday、that the car、read. was named Carla. 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 <laughs> Why are cheerleaders always so ditzy in books? It's like, they're, they're totally not real cheerleaders. Like, I knew cheerleaders when I were in high school, and they weren't, they weren't like that. Apparently, that's Maureen Johnson's version. It was all her versions. Well, she started it. That's true. I wonder how that works. Like, I wonder <laughs> if, if the other two authors kind of went with what the first one wrote or if they had everything completely planned out before they started writing. Good point. I don't know. That would be hard to do. And I love the Floby Christmas Village. I, know I want one. I was going to say, I f e e l you, you, you would、do. be one of the boys that. I Googled would... it and it's not real. Google Queen Googled it and it wasn't real. Sad day. I was really sad. sad. That's okay. That means you won't、I'm、be arrested and we won't be sent to our、oh, grandparents、yes. in Florida and get trapped on a train. Yes. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind that. But I, I wouldn't have named one of you. I wouldn't、people. mind you going to jail. Oh, I'm just kidding. Thanks. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't like the last story all that much. It just it didn't seem to fit with the other two. It just kept going back to the fact that the main girl was like, oh, what was me? I'm so sad because I,、uh, I broke up with Jeb and blah, blah, blah. And then all these people were like, oh, stop thinking about yourself. And the, the stuff that other people were saying about her, though, I almost, I didn't, I guess, 
I didn't see it necessarily. Like, she didn't seem like she was acting, like, selfish. But then again, you only get a peek into her life for, like, right. a day. And so you don't students, know her. I kind of scanned a, not through that. Not all high, Yeah. It's typical in stories, I think, for high school students to be stereotyped as it's all about me. Yeah, that's true. And I, I feel well, like... I know it's not true that yeah. in life, but... Yeah. That tends to be what. And then the whole do. thing with the with the pig and how somebody bought the pig and then she had to go yeah. get it and it was that <laughs> old woman and I'm just like. Uh. I thought that was kind of fun. Was it I Gabriel? liked the old yeah, woman. The pig. That was pretty. Cute. I liked the yes. old woman. Yes. And did you notice that the third story was kind of a take on "It's a Wonderful Life"? I think that was the point. Yeah. Okay. Well, because well, they I, mentioned it. I caught the point. It. Well, good job, Mom. You caught the point. Woohoo! But I did, so I didn't like the last story that much, but I loved the ending, how everybody ended up in the Starbucks. Yes. And it was, that was it, it made it, like, there was so much dialogue going on between all the different characters from all three books that I kind of got lost, and it was a little chaotic, but I liked that. Yeah, I think Like, I liked how it was, like... That's where I scanned through a lot of it. And I liked it, but... Was what was with the tinfoil guy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was kind of ridiculous. I actually wrote down reasons tinfoil guy is wearing tinfoil. Okay, good. I'd like oh, to okay. know. I like it. Number one, he's the tin man in a Wizard of Oz flash mob and doesn't want to be cut unprepared. <laughs> oh, yes. That's a good one. Number two, while performing said flash mob, an atomic bomb went off nearby and the blast caused the tinfoil to fuse to his skin. Uh, that's like a book. You're a lot I... more creative than I am. Number three, he's allergic to every other kind of material and is forced to make his clothes out of tinfoil. And four, he aspires to be a baked potato. <laughs> <laughs> he like was it. the consistency between all three books, though. Yeah, I liked that. Yeah, him, for sure. But I liked how all the characters were kind of mentioned in each story. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, because they all went to the same school. Yeah, in the and so first they book, there's... Jubilee and Stuart. There's Jeb oh, yeah, and Jeb. the girl that he is trying to get to that sort of cheated on him Addie. and then mm -hmm. who was the main character in the last the, yeah. book so they're they're you start out hearing about all of the characters so yeah so the connection between the first two characters is the the guy that works at the waffle house because he was like i said he was the manager um in the first one and then he called tobin in the second one to have him come to the waffle house oh yeah and the cheerleaders yeah Mm -hmm. And then the third one, the and connection, Twister. the connection was Jeb because yeah. Jeb was in first the first book. one, which connected and it to Jubilee the last came one. But everybody came this. into the last one. But yeah. Jubilee came into all of this not knowing anybody, but she, being the outsider, is the one that kind of tied them all together. Yeah, because yeah. according to the back of the book. <laughs> oh, that's true. So. But so. I did learn one very important what moral that. Christmas never Christmas. dye your hair pink after a breakup. Yeah, pick a different color. It's Christmas. Pick green. Oh. Oh. Red? Red. Red and green. Can they? Rainbow. There Be you a go. unicorn. I just have notes about cute teacup pigs in cute little Starbucks cups. Can you imagine? Um, Can we superimpose a teacup pig in this cup? Yes. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> um, okay, so Goodreads rating. Two. I'd give it a three. Only because I don't like contemporary YA without other stuff in it. At least so it was well written. I, I'm not going to give it as good as a review as well somebody written. that likes contemporary. Yeah, I not gave a it. typical chick flick romance. But while I was actually reading it, I w it was good. I gave it a four. <laughs> I didn't give it a five did. because of the last story. I wasn't, like I said, I was a huge fan of the last story, but I loved the ending of the last story. But then I loved John Green's, obviously, because he's one of my favorite authors. And then I liked uh, Maureen Johnson's. So, four, three, two. two. <laughs> so next month, we are going to be reading The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. This is an apocalyptic book where aliens have attacked Earth and uh, the main character is uh, trying to find her brother because he has been taken by the others. And there have been four waves so far and this one is about the fifth wave, which we will find out what that is in the book. Dun, dun, dun. And once we finish reading it, we are going to go see the movie because it comes out January 15th. And it's so exciting. Yes, it is. I saw the preview during Star Wars, and it looks awesome. Oh, wow. Awesome. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that is it for this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you have a great night and a, well, Christmas is over. So I hope you had a Merry Christmas. And i got lots of books. That's all I got. So we'll see you next time. Or I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.